This is Howard Berger. How you doing? Back again for CTE in review. I uh, just wanted to get back. It's been several months since my last video, uh, and just to go over some of the um, you know uh, things I've been doing with CTE. I pretty much use it most of the time. Uh, it has a lot of controversy. Uh, of course, CTE is based on two fixed lines. If you look on the internet, I happen to use one fixed line, so my my CTE kind of morphed. Maybe it's a mixture of CTE and 9090 or something to that effect. But it works for me, so uh, I'll pass it along, and if it works for you as well, that'd be great. Uh, right in front of me is my beat counter. If you are looking for anything to count points, if you do a, a four straight pull, uh, it's ideal. Uh, each beat is colored and uh, it has, uh, you know, five, ten, and, and um, ten increments, so you could pretty much add up quickly. It's 50 beats per, uh, per player, so in straight pull, this is great. Uh, if you're looking just for counting eight ball or or nine ball, it also works of course. Uh, very light, it's only about two pounds. It's on eBay. Um, just look for beat counter and uh, and I'll leave at the end of this video uh, an email if you need to find it. Uh, and it's it's something that, like I said, if uh, you're looking for something that to carry around, either it's for your pool hall or for home, it's uh, it's a nice uh, item to, ca to ca carry uh, uh, in the car or whatever and bring it to the, to the pool hall. And, um, Sometimes these places don't have either a counter or it's broken or it's too high or whatever it is. So just check that out. Uh, CTE's uh, controversy is goes on and on forever. Uh, some people like it, some people don't like it, some people like part of it. Um, it's just like anything else. Uh, there's always uh, pros and cons. Um, some say the pros don't use it, but I think they do. Everybody, they shoot so many balls in practice, uh, probably maybe up to a million shots a week. They might not need CTE. But I think it works, and it works for me, especially when I'm in a jam and I'm looking for a, a real uh, tight cut. Don't forget, I'm looking, not looking at the pocket, and we'll go along with that later on. I'm just aiming at the ball. So uh, for me, again, it works, uh, and uh, it's something that uh, takes a little bit of practice to get used to. Uh, when you position the ball, uh, people will worry about whether it's like a kind of a sweep or, or that type of thing, and we'll go over that in detail today. Um, so there's areas where you can aim uh, using the measurements or you could just kind of glide yourself into the shot. Uh, and if you're a little bit more advanced player, um, just stepping into the shot and shooting is probably the easiest method. Uh, so let's get started and we'll go over some of the uh, areas that uh, left off from last time. Thank you. Okay, so what we have in front of us right now is the uh, cue ball and a object ball and you can see the aim lines a b and c and two dots on the uh, left side so there we have is a b and c which are aim lines and uh, the one eighth markers on left and right side of the object ball uh, now if you wanted to just step in to shoot this uh, uh, you just could step in in terms of putting your hand back at the cue ball your V is uh, pretty much the what I use in terms of uh, getting a guide. My left leg is in behind the cue ball, and uh, and you could just shoot accordingly. Um, now, if you, you can move into the shot, then you know there are of course some players that are a little bit more advanced. But they're familiar with where this has to go in terms of pocketing the ball. Uh, but if you want to measure this particular ball, you can. And by measuring it, you would put the, as you can see here, the left side of the cue ball to the right side of the object ball, which is, uh, looks like it's a B. And if you notice that the, the A, if you hit the A, it would, it would put the, hit, hit the left side of the cushion, and the C would also be bad news. So, again, it's measuring here, left side cue ball to the middle of the object ball, which happens to be B. It's the uh, it's the point of, of where you have to shoot at this point in time. So you just you can swivel over what they call either a sweep. You can call it a uh, a pivot. Uh, you you just put it to center cue ball, and you follow up into the shot. And as you can see, um, you know you, if you hit it a little bit off for one way or the other, it it, it just wouldn't go in. Um, I'm pointing out the B right now. 
try to hit the center cue ball and you could uh, you could see utilize the, that the shot can go in if you move the cue ball to the left a little bit as you can see the the percentage of this percentage goes into a uh, like a 30 or 45 degree percentage point which is the angle uh, you heard terms of 30 15 30 and 30, 45 and 60 degrees those are angles to the pocket so everything's relationship to the pocket now the a b and c is always facing you so there's it's never a situation where it doesn't face you in this particular case if you wanted to get it into the uh, corner you would hit the a and if you put the ball that that way obviously the, the c would be the uh, point of in, point of contact and you'd be uh, hitting that area uh, like before you could measure this or you could just move into the shot and, and hit it accordingly um, the ABC is is pretty much always in reference point to the object ball the cue ball you're going to hit center and if you wanted to uh, measure it there's there's two different uh, schools one is if you measure it and you and you can figure out by hitting left side cue ball or right side object ball in this particular case or if you just move into the shot uh, like I said more advanced players can just kind of move into the shot and you can get an understanding of where this would be so here we are, we're just going to just move in, point to the the, the cue ball to center, uh, and then they're just going to push it right in there. As you can see, the, the B is pretty much where you're going to be hitting this, and that's the, uh, the, the point of contact. Boom. Same thing here. You're going to you could measure if you want to measure it. Would be left side cue ball, right side object ball, and if you hit it too 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 much to the let's say the C, you'd end up hitting in the left side. But if you hit it dead center B, you're right in. Many shots, you know, of course, uh, like I said, always it's always practice. This shot is uh, taken from the right side of the. Um, and remember, it's a right angle. Uh, you could you could step right into the shot, step behind the cue ball. You you kind of look at the shot, and you could kind of figure out where the B is because you can see it's a direct hit on the B angle. Uh, if you measure it, it's right side cue ball, left side object ball, and you're in. similar shot now if you're going to a, sh a shot that's fairly straight you know utilize the a uh, you could of course use the b because it's a straight shot uh, but in this case it's a slight angle so this would be a little bit of an a shot um, you kind of guesstimate uh, in most cases where you have to hit the object ball uh, in relationship to the pocket whether it be an a b or a c cut or even a one eighth in, in some cases and we'll, we'll get into that later on uh, and here we are with the uh, same situation. If you move in, you can do that. But if you want to measure, uh, this is left side cue ball pointing at the right side of the object ball. Uh, there's the aim line. That's the point where you contact. You just point to the left side, move it over, center cue ball, boom. If you're setting up shots that uh, are, you know are fairly uh, straight, like I said before, uh, just utilize that the same technique. Uh, try to try to uh, move into the shot, and later on you'll you'll get a hang of it. Now here's a straight up uh, nine ball shot. Um, pretty much, you could utilize the A on the uh, on the object ball, uh, and I'm gonna turn it around so you can actually see it. But you could utilize the A as a, a point of contact. Or even be in, in this case because it's a straight shot so if you hit it dead center obviously it's going to go in um, I like to use the a because it gives you a little you know just a point of reference and uh, it's just works as well so if you turn I return around the ball you can see the a B and C but um, just uh, generally utilize the a for, for whatever it's worth on a straight shot and of course if you needed to move away from the shot uh, in terms of English 
you can do so by using a little bit of English. In this case, uh, I just set up a shot where you could just kind of move the ball a little way in case of, in just uh, so you don't have to follow up or draw back. Um, English you have to work with because sometimes it throws off the shot a little bit. Uh, we're not getting it to swerve or any of that stuff. But in any, any kind of a shot that you use English, uh, you may have to compensate a little bit uh, on where you hit the ball. And of course, speed always is a factor as well. Uh, in this particular case, I just wanted to get the ball away from the center of the pocket and move it away somewhere. This is a steep of angle, and as you can see, the cue ball is on about on the dot. I'm going to place it on the dot. The other ball, the object ball, is on the dot. So these ball, these balls are both parallel to each other. Uh, so it's a nice cut. In this case, it's probably going to be uh, either a sharp C or one eighth. And you know that you have to hit the edge of the ball. So this is how you set up. If you measured it, it would be left side cue ball, right side object ball move over to center cue ball and just place it right in. This is some basic, uh, you know, just a basic look at some of the shots. Um, you know, these are just the kind of shots that are really easy. Uh, and in terms of, you know, whatever you are, this video is more for probably intermediate users than advanced. Um, but the techniques is uh, different in terms of uh, you know how you're going to place this. Uh, this can be an A uh, A shot. You, if you're again if you're looking, you're looking to measure. You just put uh, uh, left side Q, right side object ball, and you can measure it like that. You see. And if you hit it a little bit too much in terms of whether it be let's say A or C, you could see that it would go right into the cushion, and you would miss. Uh, when you're inside. You could utilize sometimes A or B as an aim line. Uh, you would shoot it accordingly. I tend to start moving into shots. Um, when you get more advanced with CTE, you could just move right in. You glide. You put your four, your thumb and your forefinger behind the cue ball, six inches or so. Always hit center cue ball, and and it'll make it much easier. In this case, I measured a little bit from the right side of the cue ball to the left side of the object ball. So you're going to be hitting on the left side, which is consider the A spot and you run into the corner. This is just to show a little bit of the measurement. Um, if you were to measure this ball, you'd be left side cue ball, right side object ball, you, you, you could pre-see that it looks like it's going to be a B. You're going to aim for the B spot, which is just about the center of the object ball, and hit it accordingly. Here we are with some additional uh, shots. Uh, this is kind of a straight-up shot. And I'm putting a little bit of a cut here, so it's something that uh, you may want to work with in terms of getting some different uh, angles on the ball. And the measurements are always the same, left side cue ball in this case, right side object ball, and you can cut it right in. Now CTE, as you know, can be used in um, all kinds of shots. This is a 1 8 shot in the corner, but if you put it in the corner or you put it in the side, uh, you're going to hit edge of cue ball. The measurements are the same. Left side, object ball, right side, cue ball. Here we go. Boom. If you want to put it in the side, you're going to aim from the right side of the cue ball to the left side of the object ball. And put it right in the side. Of course, you can use CTE in terms of banks and other all all kinds of different things. And here's a bank to the left. You could also bank it to the right. And I put up a barrier just to show that, you know, you're really hitting the ball in CTE. You're not looking at a pocket. So this uh, barrier pre prevents me from seeing the pockets. I can't see anything from uh, the side pockets all the way through the corner pockets. And uh, it's just uh, 
you know, it's just something that to show you that uh, the, the aiming uh, technique on CTE, uh, you could utilize just the, you know, ball, cue ball to object ball uh, relationship and not even worry where the pocket is. So what I'm going to do is uh, place a few shots and uh, give you an idea how this works out. Um, but the barrier is strictly is straight across and then in the camera angle you'll see that you can see a little bit of the pockets on the corner. So um, uh, I'm placing a shot for the left hand corner. Even without a barrier you probably know where the corner is but it's still a little difficult um, to get uh, consistent uh, play on this. Uh, so uh, with that uh, obstruction it's it's kind of difficult um, uh, in, in some cases just to really put it put it away so what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, shooting the ball straight up uh, as you can see it's left cue ball edge to right object ball edge you just pivot to the center cue ball and you place it in so this is like the A spot you know, B spot and then C spot now if you moved into the shot, you kind of figure out which is the best spot, I think this B in this case, but if you measured it, uh, you could line it up accordingly, because you would be measuring it uh, to where it goes in, so uh, I am measuring in some of these cases, uh, the ball is pretty much next to the dot, the cue ball is just about parallel to it, the aim line here is the left cue ball edge to right object ball edge, pivot to center cue, center cue ball, and then hit it in. Left side cue ball, right side object ball, there's the spot. There's your measurement. Traditional CT uses two fixed edges. I know I usually use one. I mean, you can use two if you wanted to. Um, this ball is going to the right corner, uh, so it's a much steeper cut. Um, this would be a right cue ball edge to the left 1-8 spot. You just pivot to center and you cue, and you and you just roll it in. Now, a lot of this stuff you almost have to trust the pivot because it's a different way of aiming. You're not really used to aiming. You know, ghost ball players uh, tend to just look at the ball and shoot in the corner. Uh, so you really have to trust the pivot. And this ball, pretty close. I mean, it just wobbled in the pocket a little bit. So we'll try it again. Same thing, right cue ball, edge. And, and I'm going to hit it on the way spot on the object ball. I can't see a thing on this corner, so I have no idea where it even is. And there you are. Now this ball is aimed towards the corner. They're both almost uh, parallel to each other, but the direction is towards the corner. But I'm going to place it in the side. Uh, I can't see a thing where the side is from my angle. Uh, so I'm going to hit it at uh, right side, left side cue ball, right side object ball, one eight spot. I'm going to pivot to center and just just put it into the side. Just moved it over to the right side of the table to give you an idea. Um, position is basically very similar. It's just you know the opposite sides of the ball. Uh, you could measure. You could move into the shot. Like I said, if once you get a little bit more pronounced with the uh, uh, the technique, you could just kind of move in. Uh, you know, I, I do measure, but I, I tend to move into the shots more than most cases and, um, and just, uh, you know, aim, aim for where I believe the aim line is and just move over to center ball and shoot it in. This is a little bit more angle. I'm almost pointing towards the left side of the corner. So I have to angle it in. So you can see this is right cue ball edge to left object ball 1-8 spot. I'm measuring it right there. You can see the spot. That's the, that's the point of contact right there. And you just shoot that point of contact. I'm going to say throughout this video, you have to trust the pivot. It's pretty accurate. 
This is something I just wanted to throw in. It's 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 a nice thing just to know. Uh, you have three balls. Eight ball is your object ball. You have to eat it. You know, we're in an eight ball game. So there's a few ways of hitting the eight ball. If you get stuck off, you don't have a jump cue, how do you do that? So what you do is just take half the distance from the eight ball, between the eight ball and the cue ball. And you can hit it, of course, to the left side of the, uh, which I'm doing right now. Excuse me, the right side. And then you're going to go to the other side. Let's try it again. Again, it's the half the distance between the uh, eight ball and the cue ball. I'm just going to hit it. Pretty much, I tend to use center. Uh, you may want to practice with this a little bit just to give an idea. Sometimes follow up uh, a little, you know, a little English wouldn't wouldn't hurt in some cases to give you a little bit more guidance. This is something you really have to just check out yourself. And now you can hit it from the bottom. Um, again, speed makes a difference. And here's a situation where you actually can point the the cue again we're still talking the distance between the cue ball and the eight ball so we're going to measure that distance uh i can hit it both left side right side and the bottom but let's go towards the pocket so i'm aiming towards the pocket that's the half half mark between cue ball and eight ball i'm going to parallel shift over Just, just all you do is parallel shift right to that spot there, which is probably about that dot. And you can hit the eight ball that way. So we're back to a few more cuts. Uh, I'm just kind of moving into these kind of shots, but here's a right, right, uh, you know, right side cue ball, left side object ball. Uh, you know, these are fairly simple after a while, you get a hang of it. You almost could figure out where you got to hit, but when your angles get tougher, like like this case, you kind of you have to uh, pivot. You know, use your use your measurements and then pivot accordingly, um, and it makes it much easier in terms of really got to hit. Uh, and uh, you know, these shots, whether it be the, from the left side or right side, it, it, they're difficult shots because it's nice cuts. These are one eight cuts, uh, so the pivot does work. You just bring it back to center and you roll it in. Appreciate your uh, watching it. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a holler.